we are starting our day off first with a ride. I'll be home for the holidays. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. In about two and a half minutes, I'll be doing this ride, so I will catch you guys right after. <sighs> okay, so after this ride, good 30 minutes with Alex. I really like him. Alex, Tunde, Cody, and Ali. Those are my four. Um, and Maddie. And Ben. I love them all. But gonna take a shower after this. And then gonna start my day. I'll be going out for a little bit. Might be going to a cute bakery to grab some breakfast. And then there, I found out that there is a little Christmas market near our house. They have decorations, lights, Christmas trees, poinsettias. You guys know that I have been failing with taking care of my poinsettias. So I'm gonna go see if there's an extra one to replace because I'm doing a bad job. So, finally out the house, took a shower, all that stuff. Surprisingly, it is such a nice day out today. It is sunny. I'm at the stoplight, by the way, but I am headed over to downtown Kent and going to this bakery called the Wild Wheat Bakery and gonna go grab some breakfast before heading over to this place called Carpenito Brothers, which is um, kind of a local farm. Like during Halloween, they have a pumpkin patch and then during Christmas, it's very seasonal. So gonna go check that out as well. Also, I'm very happy that I put on some sunscreen today. Gotta protect yourself from the sun, no aging. But yeah, I'm here in downtown Kent. I live about like a couple miles from here. There are a lot of cute businesses, but I'm gonna go to my favorite breakfast spot in the area called Wild Wheat Bakery. Okay, going inside, I hope they have some good stuff. The pastries. They also have Christmas cookies down here. And then it looks like there's some freshly baked bread, pies, cakes. Yeah, it's very crazy because typically on the weekends, this place is packed but they do have an outdoor section. Cool. I'm back in the car. I wanted to show you guys what I got. I keep on saying this every single time, but I'm trying to support as many local small businesses, especially restaurants that I usually go to during this time. So Wild Wheat Bakery, you guys have seen it if you have been watching my vlogs for a while now. Been there a few times for brunch, got a coffee, this is my first coffee of the day. And then I want to show you three pastries that I ended up getting. I got this raspberry kind of turnover. I got a croissant. This is a huge croissant. It's just as big as my head. And then lastly, I got this apple pastry as well. I think I might try the raspberry one. So after this, I'm gonna eat a little bit and then head over to Carpenito Brothers. Okay, you guys, this raspberry pastry is so good. It's crumbling so nicely on my palm, which, you know, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but there is like this sugar top and it just tastes so good. Okay, heading to Carpenito Brothers. They usually have a lot of produce here. Looks like they have a bunch of Christmas trees. Let's go inside. I think this might be fake trees. It's so bright in here though. Actually, no, I take that back. These are real trees. And they have the price on each one. Some of them have the white kind of decoration to it. Some of them have all white, but there's a mixture. So there are a ton of trees here. It's such a random place. It's literally like oh, a two minute drive from where I live. Ooh, they have a holiday light display. It's probably better at night. So this is so random. There are reindeers here. <laughs> and there's a zebra and a camel right there. Oh, I see. They have names. Ziggy the zebra and Newman the camel. And they're just seven months old. Hi, Z. Actually, I think he might be sleeping. Is he sleeping? He heard me. There is one advantage of wearing a mask, and that's you can smell all the smells usually in a barnyard. Oh. 
Are those real? Are those antlers real? Maybe not. Oh, okay. Sorry. So fun fact, reindeers are all female. Males shed their antlers at the end of November, early December. Only females keep their antlers. Hey girl, are you a girl? Oh, she looking at me like, bitch, you should know, you read it. <laughs> Anyways, hi. I've been looking for pine cones for the longest time and I ended up buying this big one for three dollars when not that far from my house I just selling it for 50 cents looks like outside they have all of the regular trees so we have a fake tree at our house and we ended up buying these little like uh, balsam sticks to put on the tree so that it smells like a tree even though it's fake but um, they kind of lost, lost its scent so I kind of wish that we had a real tree but then you had to like deal with the cleanup and then disposing of the tree afterwards and we're like oh, I don't know about that but I didn't buy a poinsettia I bought some mistletoe for who you ask I don't know find me a man it's so hard but you know I'll just keep it at home try to be cute um, I did actually talk to the lady who was in the poinsettia area and she gave me some really really good tips I told her that I bought a poinsettia from Costco which is huge and it's been wilting how often do you water it how do you take care of it and she first asked are you over watering it and then I kind of skirt skirted around the whole topic because I didn't really water it that much I've watered it maybe twice in the past week and a half two weeks that I've had it but she said you don't want to overwater it so it made me feel a little bit better apparently with poinsettias you want to feel the top of kind of the pot to see if it is wet if it's still damp you're good you don't want the bottom of the pot to um, leak with water because that means you're overwatering it I need to figure out where to place this because I don't know <laughs> see you guys at home okay so I ended up putting a command hook right over there and place the mistletoe we will see if Jessica and Jason stand there and call them out because they know the drill. I'm getting hungry. I bought this thing from Trader Joe's a few weeks ago. It's been in the freezer, but it's the spinach lasagna. This lighting though, like serving looks. Pumpkin, come here. You want to serve looks with me? Does Mrs. Pumpkin want to serve looks with me? Okay, let's serve looks. Let's serve looks. She's looking at my lasagna. Okay, taste test looks like this. She's like right underneath the lasagna right now. So it's a spinach lasagna. It only took 10 minutes to cook this in 50% heat. For frozen, not bad. Also, I'm watching the movie Prom right now on Netflix. Have you guys seen it yet? If not, it's such a cute movie. It's a musical type of movie has a lot of A-list stars, Nicole Kidman, Meryl Streep, Kerry Washington, James Corden, um, and it's about a girl who's a lesbian in high school and wanted to go to prom, but they canceled prom because um, the PTA didn't want to have like same sex, like have one girl take her girlfriend and it being like a same sex or inclusive prom. So it's it's a cute movie. Wow. 
didn't realize this lighthearted movie was gonna make me cry. Um, so many parts in this movie, it's almost done. It's like, I think another 10 more minutes, but it kind of just pulled at my heartstrings because a lot of what the movie was talking about was like literally my upbringing, like growing up, trying to find a place to belong, feeling the need of being accepted in a world where being gay isn't the norm and misunderstanding, all of that. Um, 17, 16 year old Jerome would have loved to see a movie like this growing up. And I'm really happy that uh, Netflix and, oh my God, I can't believe I'm crying now. I'm really happy that Netflix uh, has this type of movie out for, for teenagers and, and kids who are in the LGBTQIA community to feel like, the, like they're not alone. It's, it's amazing to see. I'm gonna finish the, <laughs> the next 10 minutes and uh, be on my way to get my treat. <laughs> Woo! Okay, now that I got myself and pulled myself together, put a little bit of makeup, I'm actually headed over to this place called Bobe. It is a bubble tea joint for pretty far from where I live, maybe like 30, 40 minutes, but they have the best seasonal drinks. Every month, they so they typically have boba and they do this thing called like the nitro boba. And with that, they actually, ooh, let's take a turn really quick. So with that, they typically do boba, but every month they have like seasonal drinks. During the Thanksgiving Halloween holiday, they had house-made pumpkin puree. They had a drink that essentially was Thai iced tea and pumpkin puree, and it was bomb. But now they have their Christmas drinks out, so we're gonna get that. And then I pre-ordered some donuts, but they are special kind of donuts. I'll have to show you guys when I finally attain it. Gonna go there and then possibly Home Goods right after since they're right next door. Can I just say it is not even four yet, sun setting, but the colors are very warm and cozy and very Christmassy. All we need is snow. Okay, so I'm here a little early, so I'm gonna stop by at Home Goods first. We'll see what is there for me to buy. Okay, I'm here at Home Goods, and as you guys know, I am looking for a long white lumbar pillow for my bed, and literally nowhere has what I need. If I find a pillow, it's not wide enough, and if I do, um, I want it to be like, you can put it in a washing machine. Like, I want this size, but all white, but no tassels. So I guess the search continues. If I'm being completely honest, I did 90% of my Christmas decoration shopping here at Home Goods. So I've already rummaged through pretty much everything. Okay, there it is, Bobe. Right. So you get to explain what this is. Absolutely. So this one's a first snow, right? We use an organ real peppermint here. It pairs very well with the strawberry bits there that we have. And then we add a little flair. Flaming marshmallow, sprinkled with a little bit of real peppermints there. Put that in. Make sure you mix well, and make sure you don't need to stick, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for you, Jerome, and then I got the donuts coming. Y'all, I felt so special going in there. Um, they know me because I come a lot, and they know that I don't live in the area and that I have to drive a ways away just to come here, but I love their drinks. If you guys saw what they did, um, they put a flaming marshmallow in here, and this already has peppermint, which I believe um, the lady that owns this said that it's from Oregon, and then there's white chocolate and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Um, white chocolate, peppermint, and I think I also added boba. But what I really came here for 
was this. So these are jelly, or they're like, uh, they're a uh, gel, they're not jelly, but they're like filled donuts. One of them is their brown sugar boba donut. So yeah, there are boba. There's boba? There are boba. Is boba plural? There's boba in the this row of donuts, um, and it's like a brown sugar. And then on the l other side is more of like a peppermint filled donut, peppermint strawberry. I'm really excited to try this out. There's a car looking at me right now, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna eat this soon. <laughs> It's tradition. tradition. Oh, okay. we're Filipino. That's not tradition. <laughs> so they found it. So we're finally home, and Jason has the mm. brown sugar boba. Mm. Go. Can I see the inside? Oh, you can kind of see the boba right over there. And then I have the white chocolate strawberry peppermint. Mmm. Valerie and pretty. This is kind of like the donut form of the drink I had earlier. <laughs> so Jessica asked me if I bought anything today, which I didn't. You guys saw it at Home Goods, I just looked and didn't buy anything. And then I looked at her and I asked, what did you buy? Ooh. What did you buy? Um just some stuff. Just some small just small things. Did you go to Bellevue? Uh, did you go to the Bravern? Okay, you have to bring it down right now. So I watch it. In the box or unbox? In the box. In the box. Okay. So while she goes upstairs, I'm gonna guess, and she just said it was in the box. So I'm gonna guess that she went to Gucci and got a bag, or she. Yeah, it's probably it's most likely Gucci, because Hermes she would have talked about her appointment. I'm guessing a Gucci bag or an SLG. Okay, so I was wrong. She did have an appointment. And it wasn't mine, it was my mom's appointment. We'll need another roommate because we can't pay for our house anymore. Um, so just put your application down below in the comment section. Okay, ready? Yep. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Isn't that cute? It's kind of like a. On wallet chain. on chain, yeah. but it's less wallet, but it's not even on a chain. Not even on a chain. Oh, there's two things. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there a toilet? Yeah. Dang! <laughs> okay, so today is day 12 of Vlogmas, so we're gonna get day 12 in our wine advent calendar. So let's dig into this wine. So this wine is a Carete Viognier from Chile is 13.5 alcohol, fresh citrus core, Chilean flair, exotic appeal. Ooh. I think this one might be my favorite one. My favorite white, at least. So let's do question of the night. Maybe I'll do the last question. Have you ever been homesick? As you guys know, I am born and raised in this area, and I've never really left home for a long period of time. The last time I was away from home for a long period of time was in 2009. Back when I was in college, I actually did an internship in Hong Kong for the summer. I ended up living with my godmother, who's like my second mom, and I was there for over three months. I would say during that time, I wasn't super homesick, but I did miss aspects of home that, you know, I cherish, like hanging out with my family and friends and, and just everyday life. But in the back of my head, I knew that there was an end date, so it didn't make me as homesick. It also allowed me to cherish and gain all of the experiences that I did when I was in Hong Kong. Amazing three and a half months while I was there. Other than that, you know, whenever I go traveling out of the country, it's usually one, two, at most three weeks, but I don't really feel homesick. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this wine. Thank you so much for watching day 12.
of Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow for day 13. We are at the halfway point of Vlogmas. It, it has gone by so quickly. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.